Pallidus Orcanus. Hey you guys, Vio here, and I'm coming at you with a gameplay commentary. Uh, this is going to be a 2v2 that me and Guzzi played not too long ago. Uh, it's just going to be a commentary about some random things, an update about the channel and stuff like that. But uh, in this gameplay, it was a domination on Express, and we ended up winning at 3-0, so it was good for us. Um, it was just a really, really good all-around game, and I played pretty well in the domination. We, we won the Search and Destroy with Goosey carrying the Search and Destroy. It was on standoff, and he went 8-4, and four, and I think I went like 4-6 and six or something like that, so he carried us in that. And then uh, I went a little bit better in the in the domination and the hard points. So the respawn aspect of the game, I'm a little bit better with the respawn game types. Uh, it's not to say Goosey isn't, it's just I had my had my day on that. And Goosey had his day in search, so... Uh, it's good all round that we can actually get the win in all game types and we're not, you know, struggling in one and going real good in the other. It's good to have an overall gameplay. And, uh, yeah, in this game I did fairly well. And 2v2 is a really, really tough thing to do. Like, uh, if you've never played a 2v2, it's just different. Like, search is okay. Search is sort of just like normal. Say you've got like a 4v4, a 6v6 search, and you're just down to two players each. And it's just... Uh, there is some more strategies and stuff like that when you are, uh, say, attacking, you've got to, or defending, I mean, you've got to defend like a bomb each or whatever not, and a lot of the, a big, you know, strategy in 2v2 search is when you get a man up, if you get that, that first pick and you're, you're two on one, then you sort of pull back and you stick together, so then if one goes down, the other one can normally trade and get the kill, uh, so that's a really big strategy that we try to employ, um, but yeah, so that's just a little bit about the 2v2 strategies. Uh, domination is a, is a little bit tougher. Um, it's a 10 second cap time, and then with two people, obviously, it makes it down to, I think, 5 seconds. I think it just cuts it in half. And it's just, it's it's interesting, because there's a lot of capping of other people's flags. Spawns flip a lot in 2v2 uh, domination. It's just really interesting to play. So if you've never played it, I'd, I'd say try it out. Uh, it's not for everyone. I prefer 4v4, personally. But 2v2 is a lot of fun just to just to play about with something different. And um, the other the other thing was hard point. The hard point is really interesting because you've got to really keep the spawns in the 2v2. You've got to be one in the hill and depends how well you can float. If you want one just outside trying to hold either the spawn that you want or you know just out front holding them before they get into the before they get to the hill. But uh, we ended up playing hard point on overflow. And if you've ever played Hardpoint and Overflow, first one's in bricks, second one's in, uh, there's a back, I think it's Sea Dom, there's a building at the back of Sea Dom, near the fountain, uh, there's that building, uh, third one is in a bank, and fourth one is in what we call red, so it's that really campy building right over B Dom. Uh, it's a really difficult map to play, uh, to play Hardpoint on, mainly, mainly because of the fourth Hardpoint, which is in red, or what we call red, uh, just over B Dom, because you can sort of get picked, uh, and you can sort of... You can contest it from the bottom of the stairs, though you're facing the back alley on overflow, but I don't know, it's, it's just a really interesting game type to play 2v2. But personally, I don't think anything's worse than 2v2 Dom. It's just really, really tough. You've got to hit your shots, because uh, in the Cyber Gamer, the, the rules that we play, the 2v2 Dom has a 5 second respawn as well, so that plays into it a lot. If you get, you know, you get them two men down, then you know that if you put both your men on the cap, they could probably get the cap before they respawn. So you've got to, it's really strat, you know, strategic and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely recommend trying out a 2v2 if you've never done it. Um, a couple of other things about the channel. I was going to do, as I said in one of the last commentaries, I was going to do a FIFA player, a player of the week for the EPL. Uh, I unfortunately couldn't do it for the first week uh, because it was actually going to be Brad Guzan was the player. I told you it was going to be a keeper and not one that everyone picked because everyone was going to pick Mignolet. Because he got the clean sheet, he had a big double save at the penalty at the end to save Liverpool, and like he had a great game. He was a bit shaky at the start for me. That's why I didn't think of him. Uh, but I put Brad Guzan. Now, basically, why I wanted Brad Guzan is because it was Aston Villa against Arsenal, from what I remember, and it was a huge game. And it was one all at that time. Uh, at the time that I was sort of noticing, and Brad Guzan made some huge saves, and then it was two one and made some huge saves again. So, like, he kept Aston Villa in the game long enough for Arsenal to make, you know, Arsenal just push up, go all-out attack. Uh, Koscielny ended up getting sent off, I think. But it made Arsenal go full-out attack, and it was just really interesting. He just held Aston Villa in the game at 2-1, and then Arsenal going full-out attack left no one at the back, and um, Aston Villa counted on the break, and Luna scored the third goal. So that's why I thought Brad Guzan was going to be uh, my player of the week for the first week, and I built a hybrid team around him. I had a 
him in goals, and then a, a United States back four, with obviously Brad Guzan from the United States. And then it was a really interesting hybrid going further up uh, with a couple of different leagues. I think one was the Bundesliga. Uh, I can't really remember it. But I couldn't get the uh, the right back. I wanted a right back from, I think it was the championship, maybe. I, I can't exactly remember. But it was going to be a right back, an American right back, and I just couldn't get that player. And it was you know coming up, and it was already up to the second week. And as I'm recording this, it's the Monday after the second week of the soccer, so I, it was a little bit late, so I just decided to give up on that. And then, unfortunately, I didn't watch uh, a lot of games. I watched a little bit of the Tottenham-Swansea game, uh, because I go for Swansea, I was a little bit disappointed of how that ended up, obviously. If you never, if you didn't watch that, go watch the highlights of that game. A little bit unfortunate for Swansea. But um, I watched a little bit of the Cardiff Man City game, and that was a huge result. Uh, maybe if I picked a player, it might have been Fraser Campbell. Apparently, he did really well uh, and kept Cardiff in that game. Uh, they ended up getting a huge victory over Man City 3-2. That's massive for them. Like, a team just being promoted, taking out one of the, probably, to me, one of the contenders. Uh, it's just absolutely huge for them. It'll boost their confidence. Obviously, it was at home, so it was going to be a lot tougher for Manchester City as they got to travel up to Wales and stuff like that. But it's still a huge, huge victory for Cardiff, so it's very, very good for them. And... Uh, a couple other things, I'm trying to get some more Battlefield gameplay on the channel, just because I'm really, I've been playing a lot more Battlefield, and I've been enjoying it, it's just some different stuff, I've been playing with a, a lot of the, the guys that Goosey plays with, I think they're the Horsemen, uh, just playing with a few of those guys, and just, you know, when Goosey plays, he's just normally playing with them, so I just tag along, and they're really nice guys, good to, good to play with, and normally playing a lot of Conquest and stuff like that. Personally, I like Rush, and I want to try and get into a Squad Rush team, I don't know if I can before the end of Battlefield 3. But for Battlefield 4, it'd be really good to get into a, a squad rush team or something like that. I'm really, really high on the infantry stuff like that. I can't really do vehicles. But uh, that's just sort of some of the stuff that's going on with the channel. Uh, it's a fairly long gameplay. It's an 11 minute gameplay. So I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay. I use a, a couple of different guns, the MSMC and the AN-94, just to sort of change it up. We had a, when we went into it, me and Goosey had a couple of tactics. Like on the starting side, we wanted to... On both sides, we were both going to cap the home flag. Uh, in 2v2 Dom, it's really dependent on how you want to play. But I think at the start, it's really important to get that first pick and get that uh, one of the players, you know, uh, five seconds out with a respawn timer and then try and go 2 on one against the last player and try and trade and hopefully get the B-Dom. Because B-Dom on Express is really tough to cap. Uh, if you are like a, a man down or something like that, if it's 2v2, it's really tough to cap. It's just an open flag on, on Express, so... Our plan was to both cap, uh, I think it was C at the first first round, both cap C Dom, run straight up hall, and just sort of wait around B and try and get a pick. And that didn't actually end up happening, in the, as you would have seen at the start of this gameplay. I did get picked from mid-train, so I was a little bit unlucky. But we do end up coming back a little bit. And then at the on the second round, our plan was to both cap uh, A Dom again, so do the, do the two-man home cap. And then Goosey goes through terminal and I'll go through into mid train or into control and just try and get that pick again. And uh, yeah, that, that was our tactics. But uh, this is just a really fun gameplay, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, I've been playing, uh, I've got a couple more squad builders, some FIFA squad builders coming up. Uh, I've got a, a complete 4 2 3 1, that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, it was just a really, really nice squad builder with, uh, it's got. Maralungu and Marco Sao and Sansone, some, some quick players and stuff like that. And then it's got a Wigan sort of midfield plus a centre forward. And then it has a, from what I remember, a Mexican back line, Mexican back three. So two centre backs and a keeper. So it's a really nice hybrid squad builder. All those green links, which look really sexy in Ultimate Team. And uh, I'm really excited about FIFA 14. I liked the fact, I'm pretty sure they've gotten rid of, gotten rid of formation cards from what I remember. So it's going to be really exciting. And I have heard a lot of stuff about these legends. So I don't know how that's going to go. Uh... Can't remember all the all the players that are actually named about legends. I haven't really looked too much into it. It looks really exciting though. Uh, it's really exciting that they're bringing some old players that aren't actually you know playing anymore. That they're bringing them back into the game, and so that people can use their heroes and stuff like that. That's really exciting for me. Um, I'd love to get a legend. Apparently, they're as rare as sort of like an, an Ibrahimovic or something like that. Not quite like a messy rare, but like you know just a little bit less. Ibrahimovic, Van Persie. They're going to be that sort of rarity. And just going to be really exciting to see how that goes. So FIFA 14, I'm really, really excited for. It's going to be huge. Uh, Xbox One, I'm definitely going to get. Um, 
apart from that, I don't know really what else has been happening on the channel. Like, uh, me and Goosey are going to start doing some Minecraft videos, I think. And then I was tempted to do a Payday 2 series with Goose, Raptor Jesus, and Ejaculation. And there are just a couple other players, people that I play Xbox with. Uh, really nice guys, really chill dudes. They're going to be uh, interesting stuff. I'm uh, going to be some interesting stuff on there. And yeah, I don't think there's too much else to talk about. This commentary is winding down. It's 11.02. Uh, that's the commentary's length. So that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. If you have any feedback, just let me know and we'll you know try and incorporate that stuff. More gameplay, more consoles and stuff like that will be coming up soon. Hopefully some PC gaming soon. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So I'm really excited to hopefully get this channel off the ground, get some more subs. Uh, as I said before, I'm never going to ask for likes, so don't even worry about that. It's just just going to be a lot of fun, a, a good ride to, to go into the next-gen consoles with, and hopefully everyone enjoys. So I've been Vio, and peace.